gap found. Good job, my friend. All right, 315. Drop them like a sack of potatoes. Oh my God, look at that guy. Dude, he's even bigger. There's so many fallow over here. Okay, change of plan. We're gonna go get that guy too. Dude, that, that could be a diamond. All right, Yearn two, are you ready for this, man? Yeah, get your sniffer ready, man. How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub, and I tell you what, I have a mean craving for pork. And so today we're gonna be going after some hogs in Te Aoroa, however you say it. But before we do that, of course, we have to say hello to our first canine companion here. And I should tell you before we even get started that like a lot of my guide videos and stuff like that, first of all, I have a great beginner's guide and I've got another guide over goose hunting, best guides on YouTube, swear to God. Anyway, down below you will see that you can skip forward. I'm sure you've seen a lot of this multiple times. And so I'm giving you the opportunity to just skip to whatever part sounds interesting to you. But if you just wanna start from the beginning, here we go. Looking at the kennel, this is what we've got right now. We've got the my dogs here. Uh, we don't have any dogs, obviously. And then we have the purchasable dogs. Now this is obviously the beta, so some of this may be uh, different when the full version comes out. But I would uh, I would expect this all to be pretty similar to how it will be when the DLC goes live March 30th, 2021, everyone. So anyway, Bloodhound, big deal. The scent tracker uh, should be really cool. Let's take a look at the different color combinations or whatever you want to say. Uh, liver and tan saddle, that is uh, this one right here. Very cool. Uh, red and liver pigmented, the first one that was showing up there. It's like messing with me because it like changes it every time. So here we got liver, liver and tan full coat, red and black pigmented. I just butchered that word. Red and black pigmented, black and tan saddle. Ooh, I like that one. Uh, and then the black and tan saddle, very classic look as well. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the black and tan saddle here. I like that look, it's just the classic, the classic to me anyway. But here we go, of course all of you know exactly what this guy's gonna be called. Bjorn 2, the beta Bjorn 2 ever, anyway. We're gonna set him as active as you can see, level one in my companion skill and level one in tracker. But let's take a look at him, where, where are you? <gasps> There you are, buddy. Come here. What is it? Is it B? Still B? It's still B. Okay. Uh, come here. Come here, you. What's that? Oh, it's a fallow deer. Hey, you. Listen to me. Oh, you're adorable. You're adorable. Yes, you are. I love you already. Stop. I'm trying to take a picture of you. He acts just like my dogs. Does exactly what I want him not to do. All right, buddy. Well, let's go. Let's go hunt something, eh? We need to go find some hogs. So if you're wondering what I'm taking on my trip, I am making it a little bit difficult. Not so much, I guess. I, what I'm trying to say is that I'm taking a shotgun with me and I also have some buckshot. Now we could use slugs on these hogs here and that would uh, do some more damage. But of course, we want to use our bloodhound. So I'm going to be using buckshot. Hopefully it'll wound them rather than kill them on the spot or something like that. And that will give us an opportunity to track them down with our new companion. Ooh, we found our first victims. Bjorn 2, do you see that? Where are you? There you are. Thank goodness you have a highlight. You find a find a track there, bud? Good job. We're gonna go this way though, okay? Good, good effort though, keep it up. Come on. The B button seems a little bit too far for my finger. I'll have to hit it with my thumb or something like that. Good boy. All right. Top notch. I, I tell you, I already love this just for the simple fact that I feel like I'm not so alone anymore. I have a little. 
There you are. What the, the Stop hiding from me. Come on. So if you're checking out the channel for the first time because of this whole dog deal going on here, let me give you a quick rundown. Of course, you may be wondering where did this BZ Hub guy come from? You know, does he even know hunting? Whatever. I've hunted my entire life just about until I went to college and, you know, went so far away from my hometown that it wasn't so easy to hunt anymore. Fishermen, I love fishing as well. Outdoors. At all together if you look in my playlist you'll find videos of hunting and fishing in real life as well so feel free to check those out as far as the hunter goes i've played the hunter for a long time i started playing hunter classic back in 2012 i actually designed the competition trophies for that game so if you ever do a competition in the hunter classic you run a chance of getting one of the trophies that i designed for the game so that's pretty cool as well been around for a long time and if you're looking for a channel that's going to keep on growing, man, you can join now or you can join when we hit 100,000, man, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, now that we have a better direction for our wind, let's keep on going up to the top of this hill here. Keep, oh, Bjorn 2's ready. What are you doing, bro? He said, I'm ready to attack. Let me sick him. I'll be a, I'll be a hog dog. I'll chase him down. I'll hold him in place. <laughs> they are, <laughs> that's it. Is that how hogs feed? <laughs> they just keep eating until they fall asleep, evidently. Uh, tell you what, we're gonna take a uh, oddball approach here. As you can tell, we haven't hid Bjorn 2 at all this entire time. He's doing just fine. He has not uh, scared them at all. You can see how close we're getting. Still nothing. Um, I'm gonna take an oddball approach and just kind of make up the distance right now. Coming at you. Oh, Bjorn 2! Get him! <laughs> no, no! Don't! Reload, he knew. What, yeah? 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 You wanna show me how tough you are, huh? What? What's up? What do you do? Who? 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 Jesus! No! <laughs> it's the toughest, the toughest pig I've ever seen! <laughs> Freaking unloaded three shells of buckshot into it. <laughs> that is amazing. Bjorn 2! Did you help, buddy? I, If you did, fantastic. You know what? You deserve a little playtime. That's awesome. I'll tell you, I did play with these, uh, these guys in the beta. Uh, now that this is all released and everything, we know everything about it, I should be able to tell you a little bit more. So I did play with these guys in the beta and I remember that uh, this transition right here of playing with the dog and petting him and everything was a lot rougher. It was more of a cut to like playing with them and they smoothed that out so nicely. It looks great, it really does. Okay, let's take a look at this dude. There's a brown one, yeah. I always remember that because they always look black and then they say that it's brown, fur type brown, whatever. Look at that penetration of the buckshot there. Right into the right into the feels. The lungs there. I don't know why that's the feels. Come on, Bjorn. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, yeah. You're upset with me. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I didn't I didn't mean to do that. But okay. <laughs> oh, did you see his eyes roll back? He liked that. Alright, buddy. Track this. Show me your stuff. Yeah, wag that tail. I already know where that one is, but um, if you could find the other one, that would be great. You found it! Good job, bud! Yeah, look at that. There's zero penetration. You see how close it was, though. There was no scatter whatsoever. That's hilarious. All right. What a tight pattern at two feet. <laughs> right on. Clearly see it. We're gonna We're gonna let the dog figure this out. Where is it, buddy? Where is it? you find it bark or something let me know you found it oh, oh. Yeah, there we go good boy that's awesome E to confirm this dark brown one didn't get any uh, anything good with that buckshot but hey that'll work you did great man all right top notch well as you saw right there uh, very shortly our guide leveled up and we don't get our first little trait here till level five, so we're gonna have to keep working with them until we get that level five trait. 
and then we'll be able to try something out here but uh until then we'll just keep on looking for some animals to chase after all right we've seen to have found just one single uh feral hog over here i think i'm gonna get as close as possible until it gets a little attentive and then uh and then we might charge at it to make there it goes okay <laughs> I tell you what, is there is there much more fun than that? I mean, come on. I enjoy the turkeys flying over me, and, and because of that, I cannot wait till they add pheasants. Um, but, I mean, the feral hogs, they're just so much fun. There's so many of them. Oh, buddy, she's she's running. You got you to gotta track this, bud. I, I don't know. I don't know where she's going. Who's to say? Now, of course, he's a little slow right now. You know, he's level one you know, or level two companion, but still level one on the tracking. Uh, he's working his way up there, and we don't have any traits for him as well. So when you're starting out with your dog, of course, there is going to be kind of a training phase. We're going to have to kind of take it a little bit slower, you know, show him the ropes, allow him to track things, even though you clearly saw it highlighted in the bushes here. Um, one thing that we could certainly try here... There, look at that. That's awesome. Love the sound of his happy, happy bark in there. You got it, man. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. All right. Top notch. We've got a few hogs. Bjorn, two. Come on. All right. So something that we might try now, since this is one thing I kept hearing over and over again, was, uh, you know... Witless be more fun to play without the tracks on now that we have a dog that can kind of track animals find tracks uh, Track blood all of the above. I think we should give that a try I know Tao a little bit, you know pretty well anyway um, We should be able to find animals I would think but uh, anyway I, I think it's worth it especially once we're one to track things after we shoot them it's Definitely gonna come in handy. So let's turn off the tracks and we'll uh we'll see how this all turns out all right tracks off audio clues off let's see what we can find and see what we can track down everyone now if you don't know the story about bjorn 2 let me fill you in real quick it all starts back with hunting simulator 2. of course i have my own dog king bjorn and also have prince oslo and uh they're the ones running around my house and always causing a ruckus but when it comes to dogs in game, I can't come up with any other better name than just going with uh, the old names I already have. So I just go with Bjorn 2, and then if I get a third dog, I just name them Bjorn 3, and Bjorn 4, and Bjorn 5. <laughs> and just keep on going. At some point, we might go with Oslo as well. Well, there's a young buck. Right on, right on. Bjorn 2, come on, man. We got a deer to track down. Ah, there we go. That's the first blood. Hey, bro. Track this down for me, would you? I don't got any. Uh, I don't got any icons or glowy lights or anything to let me know. Hey, he leveled up again. Right on. Making oh, making quick work. Tracking this down. He's running. He knows exactly where we're going. Being a proper beta, this level up companion thing has showed up. I've done enough betas of the Hunter Call of the Wild to know which things uh, seem to persist every single beta. And that's certainly one of them. By the time it always reaches the real game, that never uh, seems to still be there. But uh, but yeah, every beta, it seems like uh, you always get some sort of icon up at the top <laughs> that that persists, even though it's not relevant anymore. Hey, Todd Notch, you found it, man. Where's the bark? I'm waiting. Waiting for the bark. Yeah, you found it. You waited a little too long to bark, though. Right on, right on. Man, I was aiming way up here, so he was on a, a good little jaunt there. Our first little fallow deer buck. Very nice. All right, well... Found a group of goats over here. Figured this would be a good opportunity to try out a situation that I usually find myself in. You find a nice group of billies over here uh, chowing down on some grass and you think, okay, 
Now, holy schmoly. Now I can start shooting some of these guys. And where are they going to go when I'm throwing all this lead downrange? Uh, they're going to be going in every which direction. And this is exactly when the Bloodhound is going to be very useful. So uh, let's decide between these ones and these ones over here, which ones we're going to take some shots at. And then uh, we'll put our dog to work. Whoa. This dude. What are you doing there, buddy? Silly goober. Goodness gracious, look at them all. That was a little behind. <laughs> oh, between the feral the feral hogs and the feral goats, what can you do? How are we looking? Okay, so we've gotten a few dead right now. All right, top notch. Well, we got blood on the ground. We got to get our guy, our guy on the case, Detective Bjorn 2. Come on, man. We got some blood to check out. Well, good job, Bjorn 2. You did great. I don't know how many more we have. Got this one in the butt. Cool, good shot. Good shot, Bo. Good job, my friend. But look at that. I honestly had no idea where these goats were gonna be. So uh, I was not following them once I shot them whatsoever. So this is a perfect scenario for when the Bloodhound is very handy. You did great, man. Let's go find another one. You did it again, Bjorn 2. You are killing it, man. There we go. First gold there. <laughs> That's awesome. Good job, Bjorn 2. Come on, bro. So obviously, as we're running around doing some hunting, you can see the companion one continues to fill up. This is just him being with me while I hunt. There's not necessarily any tracking that needs to be done even to level this up. Um, so that's great. And then you have the tracker, which is kind of you know, specifically having them track the blood and whatnot. And this is going to have them do it faster. You can see our bond is a little low right now, which is a little weird because I've been giving him lots of attention. I, I, I feel like I am anyway, but he's very attentive, which is good to see. This is hilarious. I'm getting so close up to these goats right now, and I looked back to see what Bjorn 2 was doing, and he was actually kind of stalking along with me. That was so cute. All right. So you can see up in the top, this guy's leveled up, so we should be able to get our first trait. Kaora, Kiwi! <sighs> this goat's gonna kill me. Jeez Louise. <laughs> They're scrambling now. What are you doing there, Buster? Silly goober. Hey Bjorn 2, did you did you find the goat? <laughs> he says, I found the one. It's right here, buddy. Dude. Well done. Well yeah, we got right up close to this guy. Or girl. My mistake. My mistake. Some nice horns on her. Top notch, little goat. But at this point, you're probably wondering, hey, he hit level five. What about the traits here? And that is exactly what we're looking at. Level five, he's got our first traits. You have an even more loving relationship with your dog, which increases its overall bond. And then, of course, we have your dog can skip detour tracks in favor of more recent clues. Very interesting. So maybe this will improve how fast he follows tracks or something to get us to the animal without kind of getting uh, sidetracked by little things on the side. I think, um, you know, I, I have no issue giving my dog some attention every now and then. So I'm going to go with the shortcut. I think that's going to be really useful. So there we go. First trait down, buddy. You are now able to take some shortcuts. What's that animal? Hey there, kiddo. Are you tired of your ordinary clothes being so ordinary? Get out of here, boring narrator guy! Hey you! Did you know that BZ Hub now has new shirts on the BZ Hub store? That's right! Check out all the new moose and white-tailed deer shirts along with Kansas largemouth bass and catfish with new shirts being added every month! And not that I should tell you, 
But I heard that Bo has them listed at rock bottom prices. No, Bo, please. I wasn't going to tell them. I'm just a lonely dwarven pirate. No. Check out the BCM store today. I just wanted to say thanks. It's a elk. Elk. All right, now we're over here hunting a uh, a pretty famous river down in uh, Te Aroa for the fallow deer. The fallow deer love to come here and take a drink. And, oh, that dude. That dude's pretty big, actually. I don't think he's a diamond, but he's certainly, certainly a decent size. All right, what distance are we looking at here? He is perfectly broadside, 340 uh, yards away. I think I think I know how to aim at that. Let's take a shot. That'll drop him right there. What do you think of that, Bjorn? Huh? Bjorn Dose? Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Bjorn Bjorn one is getting thoroughly confused. I can hear him outside my door going, Why do you why do you keep saying my name? I'm not in there. Why do you keep saying my name? I'm playing with a dog who is so much less cool than you. You have no idea. Don't do that. I'm telling you, I, I don't even want to play with this dog. I just, I'd rather be playing with you in the game. I told them that I wanted you in the game, but I don't know what, I don't know what's taken them so long. I said elk hound and they must have heard bloodhound for some reason. I don't get it, Bjorn. I just don't. <laughs> Bjorn 2 and I are on the stalk. Oh, he says, oh, I gotta catch up to you. <laughs> got these, we got our first, uh, got our fallow right here. Got some more down here. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, he's pretty too. We gotta take a shot at him too. Then we'll go across and get all, all of them at the same time. 315. All right, 315. Drop him! Drop him dead! Like a sack of potatoes! Oh my god, look at that guy! Dude, he's even bigger! There's so many fallow over here! Okay, change of plan. We're gonna go get that guy too. Dude, that that could be a diamond. He is massive. Bjorn 2, I'm gonna need your help with this one. He is a straight up field goal, man. We're gonna have to get over here. We've got two fallow on the ground right now. We're gonna take a shot at this dude. Dude, he is huge. All right. Bjorn 2, are you ready for this, man? Yeah, get your sniffer ready, man. Though I don't know if we'll need it. 268 broadside. Could you ask for anything easier? This is exactly when you mess it up. <laughs> when all the planets and stars align and you're thinking, oh, there's no way I could mess this up. Then you find a way to mess this up. Nail him in the shoulder blade or something. He is going to drop dead right there. He is a massive, a massive fallow. Goodness gracious. We're going to have to go take a look at that guy. What we got? Yeah, there's our second fallow. You can see how close together they were. My goodness gracious. You're two. What are you doing back there, bro? Come on. This is so exciting. Come on, man. You're as excited as I am. <laughs> look at this deer. He's freaking huge, dude. Oh, yeah. That is insane. All right. All right. Here's your moment. If you think this is going to be a diamond, you better hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm so excited to see what this dude is. Come on, Bjorn. We have to get a picture, man. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, could you ask for much more? I don't know if you could. You're interrupting my photo shoot, dear. Go away. Good golly. Bjorn, Bjorn two, go track that deer while we wait. All right, here we go. What do we think, everyone? I'm so excited about this. It's moments like these that I think, oh God, 
<laughs> if I was only in my real game and not the beta. Here we go. I oh, uh, this is a troll. This is a troll. Bjorn, I had to keep eye contact on you just so I'm at least uh, happy about it's something. It's a diamond. There we go. A beta fallow deer diamond. That is so sweet. Let's taxidermize him. True score. Everything about him is fantastic. That is so cool. And the fact that we had our dog with us the entire time just made it that much more fun. I felt like I was I was sharing the enjoyment with him or something like that. That was so awesome. The whole uh, finding him and tracking him down and everything like that. Oh, getting that shot in and sharing the moment with good old Bjorn 2 who I won't see after this beta period is over. <laughs> but he will live on in memory with the new Bjorn 2. <laughs> right on, right on. Well, let's accept this beauty. And we got a few more fallow deer to pick up and that's gonna be the end of it, everyone. But first, we gotta give this guy a little love. There you go, bud. Yeah. Fantastic, man. You did awesome. You're rocking it. Well, tell you what, everyone, I'm going to go pick up these other fallow deer, but there's really not much more for you to see here. It's not going to get any much better than that. Here's our first one anyway. Level four, not too shabby, but what can you do when you already got a diamond? I tell you what, I'm really enjoying these dogs. I know that a lot of you are as well, and I know that for some of us, we're just thinking, okay, this is going to be someone I can I can spend time with. Uh, for someone who likes to get lost in the Hunter Call of the Wild, other, you know, either this is um, your way to escape uh, for a little outdoorsy adventure in a little uh, digital uh, atmosphere, or maybe you just love hunting in real life, and this is a way to continue that interest. Uh, having your little dog companion just uh, just sells it even more. I just love being out here in the outdoors when I when it's the weekend I like going out in the outdoors and doing my own stuff and then during the week when I have to work I can come in here play for a few hours and I feel like I'm in the outdoors all the same not all the same but uh fairly similar we'll say <laughs> anywho I hope you enjoyed it if you did of course hit that like button subscribe to the BZ hub if you haven't already I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing if you're not part of the BZ Hub already? It's like I said, you can subscribe now. You can subscribe after we've hit 50,000 subs, man. It's up to you, you know. But take your time if you want or something. But there we go, our second fallow deer. And he was pretty nice as well at 213, making his way up to 251 for that diamond as well. So right on, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed, like I said before. Join us on our live streams Monday and Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Chat with me about everything going on and tell about your uh, adventures. Go down in the description. Check out our Discord if, uh, if that's something that interests you. Chat with other like-minded people. Show off your pets. Show off your food. Everything that we have in the Discord. It's a lot of fun. Easy on Discord, everyone. Over 700 people there. Join in the fun, man. It's a, it's a, it's great. Comment down below what you're gonna do first with your dog. What are you gonna go hunting for? I've uh, I went with the whole hogs and the goats, but uh, maybe you want to go for something a little bit larger. You don't have to worry about your dog dying, uh, but I don't think your dog is gonna help you attack anything either. So uh, you know, I don't know if going after Cape Buffalo or something like that's really gonna make much of a difference. I think it's gonna knock you out all the same. But that's it from me. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Hopefully you have a great weekend and you're just looking forward to seeing these dogs in your own game. And I can't wait to hear about it. So take care. Stay safe. And as always, remember, everyone. We're one planet, one family. Wait a second. I just forgot that I didn't show something off. Here we go. Let's throw this guy up here. Oh, yeah. Don't you love the look of a diamond fallow in your trophy lodge? And then of course, isn't it just so much better to see this smiling face? It's better when you look at me when I say <laughs> smiling face. You almost ate all of your food and your water looks yellow. We gotta do something about that, man. <laughs> so freaking cute. Game on.